Welcome back to the console for our latest edition of St. Luke's Presents. Uh, we decided to separate the two recordings for um, the next two weeks into a shorter explanation, and mostly introduction, for Sunday morning, and then now the separate YouTube video, which has the longer explanation of the piece being played this morning. Um, the epilogue from Amadio Frescobaldi is, as you would suspect, the final movement of a mass setting by Jean Longley. Um, these, these mass settings oftentimes were using uh, chants based on the various mass ordinaries. So the first movement of this collection is on a Kyrie chant. It's a prelude in their offertory, elevation, and various other movements. And this epilogue kind of is, is disconnected from the rest of the suite, um, mostly in that it's for almost entirely pedal solo. Um, the last line of the music, the hands come in for just a little bit of an interjection and then really the feet carry it all the way through. So this piece is, as you would suspect, in three major sections, kind of the introduction of the first theme. And then the second part, which is a fugue, a three-part fugue for the feet. Yes, it's kind of nasty. Um, and I'm going to try to do my best here to play all the notes accurately as best I can. Um, so this thing that you hear, T, 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 is um, one that is based on Frescobaldi. That's not something that Longley came up with. So that's where the Frescobaldi part kind of comes in with Longley's composition. Um, and then towards the end of this fugue and then into the third section, you have both themes coming together, or if you remember a complicated word from our Bach discussion, double counterpoints, meaning that both themes or ideas are coming and play together at the same time. In terms of the rest of the suite, it kind of has its own liturgical usage um, in Catholic liturgy and as well as our liturgy as um, mostly prelude music. Uh, and, but this epilogue kind of doesn't have a liturgical significance. Uh, I learned it initially as the opening to my master's degree, second master's degree recital. Um, it kind of teaches one to have very good pedal technique and having dug this up about four days ago, you know, well, it kind of does need a little bit more attention, but it's, it passes pretty well. Um, that's really all that I have to say about it, um, except that Longley kind of is the continuation of um, the French organ tradition of improvisation. It's very likely that most of these movements were initially improvised and then kind of fleshed out and put into writing. Uh, Longley was just two people removed as the successor of uh, César Franck, which I believe many of you may know, um, kind of the father of the French Romantic organ movement. He died in the 1890s, was succeeded by Turnemir, which you may or may not be familiar with. He was at saint Clotilde in Paris for a short time, and then followed up by Longley, whose dates I forgot to mention in the beginning are 1907 to 1991. So in terms of what I've played for you guys in the St. Luke's Presents, and in terms of organ repertoire, fairly contemporary. So here we go with Jean Longley's epilogue from Amage Frescobaldi. <laughs> 